Hey everybody, so I'm back with another video and today we're going to be covering an upcoming piece of gear and that piece of gear is the new Las Rativa Mega Ice Evo. Um, the Mega Ice Evo, if, for those who don't know, is a comp style boot. It's for, you know, higher end dry tooling, mix climbing and competition climbing. It's not generally a boot that you'd want to go out and freezing temps in and really push your limits because I think your toes would be a lot colder. Um, they're better off in just a regular mountaineering boot um, these are definitely kind of excel within like the summertime or you know early fall or late spring dry tooling um, that's kind of why i'm looking at getting a pair um, it'd be just for that that summertime dry tooling as a specific piece um, but comp boots kind of offer some benefits over uh, regular mountaineering boots in terms that they're basically specially made for dry tooling uh, they have it basically consisted of like a hard platform, which in this case it uses a carbon platform. So it's going to be very stiff, um, but it has a lot of features that are very similar to rock shoes. I mean, you have a heel that's very similar to any of the heels that you get in any of other Las Sportivas rock shoes, and you get kind of a more closer, tighter fit. Um, definitely would consider downsizing in these. Um, don't size them like a regular mountaineering boot because you're definitely not going to be doing approaches in these because they have a uh, crampons bolted on um, so with that kind of being said that's kind of like what a comp boot is and that's kind of what the regular use for comp boots uh, but let me get into kind of the updates that are with the new Las Sportiva Mega Ice Evo um, for starters this is more of an, uh, an aesthetic update um, as you can kind of see between the two boots um, the old boot was definitely Las Sportiva's older aesthetics whereas the new one just falls in line with all the newer aesthetics whether it be the g tech the g5 evo or the g2 evo which just kind of follows that same styling so now this boot kind of just fits in within that whole line it's a better more overall aesthetic update um, but it also focuses on using recycled materials um, the main kind of focus for the recycled materials is actually in the heel of the shoe um, the old Mega Ice Evo used Vibram Excess Grip 2 in the heel, whereas the new Las Sportiva Mega Ice Evo for 2023 is going to be using Friction Eco. Um, so that's a good diff. It's a good difference. It's just using more recycled material. It also does have, uh, I think, recycled laces, um, just some smaller things that are recycled. So it's definitely nice to see that Las Sportiva is, you know, conscious about what they're trying to do and you know finding places where they can use recycled material because i think in in terms of like a heel for especially a dry tooling um, boot you don't really need um, vibram excess grip to um, friction x e or friction eco is going to work just the same um, I, it's in it's a lot of it's the same rubber that's in a lot of their other um, rock shoes so it's a good rubber um and kind of going on that's kind of like the big part of the update um, it does use um, Kassin or camp dry crampons are already pre-bolted and the bolts are kind of set for that so this boot is just it's basically going to have the best use with the Kassin dry or the camp dry crampons um, so you already have that they're already pre they're pre-bolted they come with them um, it should definitely perform the same as the Mega Ice Evo from last season. You know, this is, like I said, more of a, an aesthetic update with, you know, with a highlight on a few uh, recycled materials, which is great to see. Um, it is already worth to note that this boot has already released in Europe. Um, it releases here in North America about mid-February. That's from La Sportiva North America. And I, uh, I definitely hope I can get my hands on these. Um, I'm looking to dry tool a lot this summer and I think these would be a great boot to have so hoping I can get my hands on them but uh yeah that's just kind of a quick kind of update I'm looking into the upcoming La Sportiva Mega Ice Evo